Hey guys, for this video I'll be reviewing a match between Sunderland and Arsenal. Okay, so going into this match we had Jenkinson at right back. Sanya was a centre back partnering with Motosaka, and then we had Monreal um, as the left back, and we had Ramsey, Wilshere, Arteta in the midfield with Walcott, Giroud, and Cazola on the left. And when you have someone like Sanya at centre back, you kind of worry about what's going to happen in the air because he's not the tallest guy. I'm not even sure if he's over six foot. And that's why I thought maybe spending a bit more money in the transfer window would have helped us in this case because we had no Koscielny, no Vermaelen. Maybe an extra decent centre back would have been a good option. First half though, we were outstanding, fabulous football. The passing was so fluid and just they just played on instinct, they, didn't, they weren't thinking, they just had the, the players running around with them and they really did want to, you know, dominate Sunderland, that's what they did, but not on the scoreboard. We scored a goal through Cazorla, a brilliant play between Wilshere, Walcott and then eventually Cazorla who smashed it low and hard into the bottom corner after the Sunderland keeper had a few pretty decent saves early on. So 1-0 was at half time and it was just one of the best first halves that we've played in, in years probably. It was just that good. It's just really unfortunate that we didn't get it on the scoreboard as much as, you know, the players and the supporters would have liked. But the second half, Sunderland came out and they played a lot better. They played with a lot more tempo. They weren't as casual like they were in the first half, kind of just accepting that we'll have a lot of possession. They did have a bit more possession in the second half, especially after Jenkinson got a red card, his second yellow in the 62nd minute and that left them a good half an hour with you know one extra man when that happens you are stressed out and you think that they're easily gonna cut through us but no way Chesney was unbelievable some of the saves that he made were just outstanding and that really he really did stake his claim that he can be a very good a world-class goalkeeper if he keeps playing this way and he's still so young and he's got a long way to go but this performance really is something that he can just look back on and say that that's that's me at my best and that's what I want to be like for, the, for every game for the rest of my career and because of him we won that game no doubt because of him we won that game and Sanya, he was very good in the second half. He had a few really critical headers. Murdersack always getting in the way. Diaby, when he came on, after, unfortunately, to say, um, Wilshere was injured. But he looked okay on the bench. It doesn't look like it's anything serious. He looked fine when he came off. But I think it was just precaution. and just wanted to be safe and make sure that he didn't aggravate whatever injury he did have. And Diaby came on, it was pretty effective, and a few times in the second half, we cut them open, like completely cut them open, with 10 men. And that was just surprising, it was really annoying that we didn't take advantage. There was a late one with Giroud, who was really casual, probably should have passed off to Gazola. And then there was another one where Gazola got in the space and probably should have passed off to Giroud, who was in the centre, inside the box. Walcott was pretty good again. Early on he was amazing. The first 10 minutes he had about 3 or 4 shots on target and it was just really good to watch and I thought we could easily win this game by 4 goals. We probably should have, but at the same time with 10 men, Sunderland probably should have gotten a goal in the end. They had a number of big chances in the second half, especially through Fletcher and a number of his headers. But Chesney handled it. He was absolutely outstanding and I can't give him enough credit. He was just... He did everything right, he, he was in the right positions, his reflexes were just through the roof. On FIFA, if you checked his reflexes because of this game, they would have been on 99. He was just he was just seeing everything before it even happened, getting into the right spots and saving us. And because of him, we've got the huge three points. And it was just a really gutsy performance. I've said that, you know, before and this is just one of the gutsier performances that I've watched and not many teams would have been able to have done what we've done and they would have just fallen over and given Sunderland an easy goal, easy equaliser, or potentially another winner. But we didn't do that. We wanted to win. We weren't going to settle for a draw. And I'm glad that we stuck to our guns. We didn't get all defensive like a lot of teams would, getting 10 men. We still had the game. The game was pretty open. I mean, we got a lot of plays back, but at the same time, when we were on the attack, we were flowing forward as well. We weren't too afraid of going forward. And that's how we generated a few chances and we were really, really unlucky in the end not to actually get a winner. But I thought everything was spot on. I think Mikel came on towards the end. Walcott came off. Mikel went back and I think we had basically three centre-backs. with Sanya, Mikel and um, Murdersaka. 
with Monreal as the left back as well, potentially Sandy went on the right back and we had the the two normal sized centre backs. I say normal size because Sandy is only about five foot ten or something, he's probably my height. But he did an excellent job and that's what the game was about. All our players, you know, played to the the best of their abilities and they played the way Arson wanted them to play. And they were just disciplined and dedicated and gutsy. And that, the gutsy is just the one word that really does stand out of this game. We just showed a lot of guts and we got over the line. That's all that counts. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching my review. Sorry it's a bit rushed. It's really late and I'm dead tired. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video below. It really does help me out a lot. Comment below. Tell me what you thought of the game. I'll respond to all comments and subscribe above for all my Arsenal reviews for the rest of the season. All of my Arsenal FIFA videos for the rest of the season. Thank you very much and have a good week.